Well, hello again. Here we are on what I consider the best cycle bridge in Amsterdam. I wish I could tell you its name, but I can't. And this is something that afflicts me. I know where things are, but I can't tell you the name of any of those places or streets. Trust me, it's a good bridge. Um, there are reasons I find it a good cycle bridge. Uh, the main reason is on the south side, there is, a, first of all, it goes across the Amsterdam Rhine Canal and it connects one bit of the city with another part. It's not very central, mind you, even though you are sort of close to the middle. And uh, given the way Amsterdam is this funny U shape, at least the center part of Amsterdam is this U shape, so we're at one side of the U, I think the eastern end of the U. And so, if that makes any sense, I, I somehow feel it's getting very complicated what I'm saying, but trust me, it's, it's there. So, um, the best part of the bridge, I think, is uh, the loop. Now, on the south side, you cycle across the bridge and then you have to descend. Because there was a limited amount of space, so that meant the bridge couldn't slope down uh, in, a, in a straight line, it had to make this loop. So you can cycle down at absolutely high speed. And you may, some people chicken out, they sort of, you see them bombing down and suddenly they realize, I don't know if I'm going to take the bend. I think the bend has been calculated that as a normal cyclist, you can take it quickly, but it's all up to, it's, it's about uh, your own courage. But I'm not going to focus on that particular bend. Maybe another day I'll uh, spend some time watching the cyclists zoom down or the ones battle to get up the bridge. Instead, I'm just going to look out over the city. It is a high point. I know those of you who live in places with mountains and hills would not consider this a high point. But if you live in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, which is incredibly flat, then it is an official high point. Um, not quite a mountain, but still a high point. And then you can look out... Uh, you see the Zeeberger Bridge in front with all the traffic. You've got this harbor or harbors. People put their boats there. I, you know that Amsterdam is nothing but boats. Well, it's not nothing but boats, but there are a lot of boats in the city. And then we sort of turn around and look. Uh, we're going to look beyond or look up the canal. Or is it up or down? I don't know what is up or down in terms of water, but we're looking sort of east. And you see how it disappears and bends slowly around. In sort of this is bend in the river, a bend in the canal. And I, I don't know why, <laughs> when, I, when I look at this, something comes into my head, and that's Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness, which makes no sense whatsoever. But there's something about the bend in the river. I think bends in rivers, bends in canals, they, they create something in our minds, and um, suddenly you can have all this dramatic stuff going on, at least in your head. Well, that's about that, so I'm going to say enjoy it. Nothing spectacular, but just one of those views that I think is worth looking at. Okay then, bye.